This Climbing the Mountain podcast is brought to you by Encova Insurance. Hard work and passion are critical components of any winning strategy. Count on Encova Insurance as your local team to provide peace of mind. Welcome into Climbing the Mountain, a video podcast all about the 2023 WVU spring football season. I'm your host, Amanda Maisie. This is brought to you by Encova Insurance and Country Roads Trust. We are West Virginia's name, image, and likeness team. Joining me this week, Jordan Leslie, defensive coordinator. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. It is game week. How exciting is that? Uh, it's always fun. You know, uh, spring game is, you know, something we always like try to let the guys have some fun with it you know like I told them today you know be drawing up their plays and stuff and so um it, it is it's, it's just a culmination of you know it's one of our favorite times of year it's really fundamental there's it's a teaching time of year and you just kind of you know you bring that to the, to the to the finale and and you see some of that show up in a game situation so it's exciting it's fun for the guys you know we don't, we don't really do a whole lot um you know the 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 landscape shift in spring ball is, is kind of shift into a little bit of a different deal or I think it will be so um, but it's good it's, it's a lot of fun good for the fans good for the kids what will the routine be on Saturday it'll be very game same as a game very game like um, be a, a pregame it'll be a you know a, a, a walk through a meeting and then you know get into a pregame we'll treat it just like a game warm-ups come in come back in come back out um, and then um, I don't know exactly what the format will be. I don't think I don't think coach has said it yet, but it's um, we'll split in the teams and and probably try to get I would assume anywhere from fifty to sixty plays and um, you know and it's, and then you know the, the key of part is the evaluation of it. You know, um, especially your young players. You know, this is a lot like bowl practice. It's a, it's a time for your your young your younger you know the kind of the the, the really the meat of your roster um, that you're looking to get ready for the season. So. Um, it'll be it'll be pretty simple, you know, offense, defense, special team segments, and and here we go. What do you want to get out of this spring game defensively? Well, I think the emphasis for us the whole spring um, has been back to basics, technique, you know, getting off blocks, tackling, running to the ball, angles. Um, you know, we've changed a couple things, not not anything major. Um, but we've simplified a few things, and so I just want to see it show up in a in a game situation. Um, you know, this it's I, I tell our guys this that football is as simple as angles and numbers. Uh, you just have to apply it really, really fast. And so I just want to see the the things that you've worked on for 14 practices. And you'll see them show up in a game, um, and that's that's as simple as I can make it. Tell me who this spring during the practices who has really surprised you and stood out you know i think lee coba has made a significant jump uh eddie vesterinen has made a made a big jump has really shown up um andrew wilson lamp is a kid that has made a i think a tremendous improvement aubrey burks is has made has was a really good player for us last year has made another jump um and our new guys i think i think montre miller Keyshawn cobb uh, Day Day Hawkins are guys that have really shown that they can help us. Um, and some of the, what those roles are, some are still unclear, but they can they can definitely help us. Um, you know, Sean Martin has shown that he's he's ready for that next step in his career, which is a uh, kind of the guy, a, a leader role, a, a guy that's that's got to be he's got to play well for us to to or he's got to play good for us to be good that that type guy. So he's taking that next step. Um, uh, Jairo Favris has a guy that has taken a really big step um, this spring. You know, Lance Dixon has done a lot of things better what our, with what our focus is as a whole for him, which was doing a lot of little things right and being able to repeat them and be consistent. Um, and that, you know, when I say all those guys, that's really the improvement, not only as a unit we, we had to see, but as individuals. So those are guys that have really kind of stood out. Talk about some of your newcomers that you're really excited about. Uh, you know, I think that, that, you know, I'll start up front on Day Day Hawkins. Um, here's a kid who's started at this level. Um, I had to go back down and has come back up. But he is a guy who has great energy every day. Um, he is a, he is a, has a, a motor that runs really, really high. Um, it's something that we needed, especially up front. Um, so excited about him. Uh, you know, Montre Miller, uh, corner from Kent State. As can really really run, and has shown the ability to be able to cover, you know, 
through 14 practices um, at this level. And then Keyshawn Cobb is really a guy um, I can go back with a little ways because he was originally a Mississippi Junior College kid who went to Buffalo and now went through the process to try to transfer up. Um, has shown that you know he, he can find the ball. He, he's, a, he's a guy that can play a, multi, a number of positions, um, do a number of things. And so, you know, those are guys that, that um, on the transfer side of things, the, that, that we really feel good about. You know, on the freshman side of things, you know, we've talked about Josiah Trotter. Um, we knew coming in would be a guy that would help us early. Um, you know, you know, before before his his injury, he had really shown he's got he's got going to have a great career ahead of him. Um, you know, as I'll stay at linebacker. You know, Ben Cutter is a guy that I think has come in. You know, plays fast, maybe a little too fast at times. <laughs> you know, a little out of control, which is good. I'd rather have to say, you know, pull him back than get him going. Uh, and then James Hurt, you know, has really shown that he can help us immediately, um, especially rushing the passer. He's very very natural at it. So, you know, those are guys that have, that have shown up this spring, and, and we're really excited about them. What part of the defense, secondary, defensive line, what, what unit do you really need to see step up this spring and this fall? Uh, well, you know, I, I think if you, if you just come off of last year, it, it's got to be our secondary. Um, secondary's got to – and, and we've, we've shown improvements. And, and, and I, you know, knew we had to, but – you know, that's, I've, I've always, I've always really put a lot on the front, and you have to be good up front to be good. And I, and it's not like I, I, I don't believe that. I just know that in our league, with the teams we play, our secondary has got has got to step up and has got to play well. They're going to get some help from the guys up front. We're going to do some things schematically that that help them, especially up front. Um, and and not saying that we're taking off off of our front guys. You're still only as good as you are. Um, up front, but our secondary has got to step up, got to play well. What do you hope the identity of this defense will be in the fall? Well, we really, we really focus on three things. We focus on high effort, aggression, and together. And you know, those we have to play hard. And I think the aggression piece of it is like playing, not afraid to make mistakes. And I think we did that a lot last year. Now, some of that I think is on me being able to put things in place that allow them to do that. So I think it's twofold, player and coach. Um, but we do, we have to play more aggressive. Um, and then the together piece is, you know, every, everything ties together, everything fits. And, you know, in this environment sometimes it's a little tough. You, you always, you have more new faces on average than you, than you did five years ago in college football. So which you have to find a way to, to mesh all that together and so that it melts and, and, and Honestly, this group has done that faster and better, and I think than any group that we've had. And and you know, is that does that is that a telltale of how you're going to be? And no, but it doesn't hurt either. So I, I think those are the three things. Um, when people flip on the tape, like a, they, that's that's who we want to be. That's who we are. That's what they, we want people to see. All right, Coach. Appreciate your time. Have fun this Saturday. Absolutely. Thank All you. All right, we'll be back with more. Stay with us. This Climbing the Mountain podcast is brought to you by Encova Insurance. Hard work and passion are critical components of any winning strategy. Count on Encova Insurance as your local team to provide peace of mind. Welcome back to Climbing the Mountain, the video podcast brought to you by Encova Insurance and Country Roads Trust. Encova Insurance is your one-stop need for home, auto, life, and business insurance needs. They're ready for what's next. Joining me now, Sean Martin, defensive line, Justin Johnson, running back. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me. It's game week. How excited are you? Um, I'm, I'm not too excited. I'm going to be on the sideline just uh, watching everybody play, just uh, trying to help coach the D-line. You get to play coach today yeah. or on Saturday. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right, Justin. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, uh, back at it, back in the past. So I'm uh, looking forward to the fans and all, all our supporters out there. So it's going to be a good time. Tell me about spring practice in general. How do you guys think it's just gone as a whole? Uh, I feel like we improved a lot. It's defense, just uh, like uh, the difference of losing Dante and some of the players that we lost in the past is uh, building off of who we got now. Yeah, spring's been going pretty good with uh, Coach Scott taking over the offense. We've uh, had a lot of success within the running back room and the offense as a whole, so it's been going pretty good. That running back room is pretty crowded. That's that's pretty well known. A lot of great backs in that room, including yourself. How do you make yourself stand out? Obviously, it's a team sport, but let's let's not lie. You want to be out there. Right. 
So uh, personally, I just say make the most of my opportunities. You know, we're all going to get a chance to play, but when you're out there, just make the most of it. So that's what I want to say. What's it been like having Coach Scott as the OC now? It's been amazing. It's been amazing. He's been uh, making sure we're all productive and uh, being creative with the ball. So it's going to be a fun time. Sean, let's talk about that defensive line. Out is Dante Stills, obviously. A lot of expectations for you this year to be that leader. How seriously do you take that? Uh, I take it very serious, but I don't I don't try to live up to other people's expectations. I try to live up to mine. Um, I don't really focus on what people say outside of football. I just want to focus on what the coaches need me to do and what I need to do as a leader. Absolutely. And I know your leadership style is not so much in your face. You're kind of a quiet leader. Tell me how that translates on the field. Uh, I want to say I'm like, a, I don't talk. So, like, I guess me making plays or me doing my job will basically lead itself, I guess. Yeah. My, my Like, the D-line will, like, follow what I do. Lead by example. Like, yeah, lead, lead by example, basically. Yeah. But, if, but if somebody's not doing what they should be doing. I'll tell them, like, you got to pick it up or, like, let Coach Jackson handle that. Yeah. Like in that tone, or yeah. we got a little more like. I let him going. handle it in Coach Jackson's tone. I talk to him <laughs> off to the side. I've gotten better at that. So. You got better at that. Yeah. That's awesome. Just tell me about the spring game in general. It's kind of just the end of the of the spring season. Just h how enjoyable is the spring? Obviously, you're learning. You guys are all you know learning each other, new plays, new this, this, and that. But you don't have the pressure of the fall. So. The, the laid backness of the spring, but learning. So just how, how kind of fun is that as a player? Uh, it's really fun, you know, because uh, we've been working hard uh, after, since the season ended, really. Right after the season, we got the winter workouts, got to working, and uh, spring ball came. We've been working all up to this point. So uh, spring ball is going to – this kind of a fun time, you know, go out there, compete in front of uh, family, friends, and uh, supporters. So it's going to be a good time. What are you expecting out of yourself this game, but also in the fall looking ahead? Yeah, uh, of course. I'm uh, expecting myself to perform pretty highly. You know, I, uh, I would say I consider myself a vet now, just um, from Coach Scott teaching me all the ways. And uh, I've, I've been here two years, so I've been, I'm pretty experienced. So I, I, I expect a lot of myself. What do you think the identity will be of this defensive line this year, Sean? Um, it is just hard work, um, just doing, our, doing the little things right. Um, Doing really what we're supposed to do. I mean, we ain't got like the playmakers we had in the past, but we as we we can play as a group and this, I guess we could just make plays. I don't know together. What do you think the identity of this running back group is going to be? You're just gonna have to pick your poison. You know, we're all going to be out there and uh, we're all going to be effective. So teams are just going to have to pick which one. Let's talk about just the chemistry of this team. You guys have you you've been here for a little while. How do you kind of break in the newcomers in spring? Um, just I don't I I really don't know. You just I just they all get different feels of how it is. Um, every position group's are different. I mean, us we just D line wise we just joke around all the time. Um, eventually everybody would just get used to it and this this come a family I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, like like you said, position groups are different. And we're in the back room, you know, we welcome everybody. Uh, once you step in that room, you're a big lead back now. So you're part of the family, and uh, we just welcome you and make you feel at home. Are you guys glad that the spring season is winding down, get a little bit of a break, or would you like to just keep going out there and knocking heads? Uh, yeah, I'm glad the spring is easy. the spring is ending only because we're getting closer to the season, so it's exciting. So, yeah. Uh, I feel like everybody needs a break. So, I mean, I'm kind of glad. I mean, we came a long way. We weren't working hard, so I think we really deserve this break. Has anybody stood out to you, like anybody offensively, defensively, like any a newcomer or a transfer that you're like, man, that guy, he's going to be pretty good? Uh, one person in particular I would say is uh, Preston Fox. Yeah. He has a great story. I heard he was a walk-on. He earned a scholarship. And uh, every day he's out there making plays. We like to say he doesn't drop a pass. He doesn't drop nothing. You better <laughs> knock on some wood, yeah, Justin. <laughs> <you're right. laughs> I'll, 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 find I'll find some. some. I'll find some. Uh, I think Torres has stepped out to me. Uh, he just uh, – He's really coming along. Uh, coach is taking on coaching, just making plays. He's doing everything coach is telling him to do. All right. Well, good stuff. Well, gentlemen, we look forward to the, the spring game and the fall. And if you would like a personalized autograph helmet from either Sean or Justin, just go to our website, countryroadstrust.com slash autographs, and we'll get it to you. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank, thank you for having us. All right. We'll be back. This Climbing the Mountain podcast is brought to you by Encova Insurance. Hard work and passion are critical components of any winning strategy. Count on Encova Insurance as your local team to provide peace of mind.
Welcome back to Climbing the Mountain, brought to you by Country Roads Trust and Encova Insurance. They are your one-stop shop for home, auto, life, and business insurance needs. They're ready for what's next. Joining me now, offensive lineman Brandon Yates, defensive back Jacoby Spells. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. Spring game, it is finally here this week. Are we excited? Of course. Yes, ma'am. Definitely excited. Why are we excited, Brandon? Uh, I'm excited because, I mean, that's another uh, milestone coming to an end. Um, getting close to the season. Uh, we're looking forward to the season this year. Um, this, uh, this spring we kind of used it um, to get the young guys kind of pretty much ready for the uh, season coming up. Um, I think we used it pretty well. I think our team's looking really, really nice. Um, since I've been here looking at the team, it just looked like we're really gelling together on the field together. That's good. Jacoby, you, you excited? Yes, man, I'm excited. What do you hope to accomplish this game? Again, uh, come out and show everybody how good of a defense we got this year, last year. Everybody chemistry wasn't there, but this year I really feel everybody chem chemistry is like really there. We communicate more and talk more on the field, and everybody get along very well. Let's talk about your freshman year last year. You had that pick six against Virginia Tech. That was pretty exciting. What are your expectations for yourself and as a unit for this secondary this year? Expectations for myself is come out again this year, do what I did last year, get more picks, get my hands on the ball more, break up more passes, and then as a unit, defensive unit. Just stop, stop more teams now. Stop the air, running, do everything we can. Brandon, you have you're like the all over guy. You'll you'll play wherever they need you to play. Yeah. We might see you at quarterback one day. Who yeah. knows? No. <laughs> <laughs> you came in at what left tackle, then moved to right tackle this spring. You've been playing center, right guard. Yeah. You kind of go wherever you need to go. Tell me about that because an offensive lineman that's a very technical position. Yeah what side you're on so tell me the adjustments you've had to make um adjustments I mean kind of just take a, a little more of like a grown man approach um wherever they need me I'm gonna be there and really gonna work hard at it um I guess it doesn't really matter where I'm at I just know my techniques can pretty much be the same it's just kind of flipped hands regardless of your left side or right side but um I just kind of took this spring head on was like okay I mean another challenge you know what I mean I'm a man that likes challenges so I went out there in center and just took it head on and um kind of in a leadership role um, being an older guy, I mean, kind of just kind of just fell right into it. So it, it felt good being a center and being a right guard, you know what I mean? Um, so definitely, I, yeah, I just kind of took this and was like, that's another step, another another milestone I got to jump over. Um, I guess it, it makes me look good because I'm the guy who can do pretty much anything. So if anybody goes down, I'm like, I guess it move me around. I guess I can do something. So. <laughs> and so if Ollie goes down punting, mm -hmm. we can call on you? Oh, definitely. <laughs> All right. <let's, laughs> we don't wish that. We don't wish that. Um, so you have a – a new offensive lineman kind of joining your group, Jimmy Bell from basketball. Oh yeah. All right, tell me about his technique. What's that been like? Um, I mean, he I think he played in JUCO or played in high school. Um, seeing him come in, I mean, first when he first day he came in, I was like, who's this mountain walking around the locker room? So I was like, <laughs> who's that? And I realized it was Jimmy. Um, so I mean, it's, it's pretty cool to have him in there. Um, he's learning really really quick, really well. Um, he's going out there, and uh, I think he's taking every day a, a new step. Um, but, yeah, he's learning really, really quick, and he's really gelling with the guys. Um, I think he came in, and just he just kind of fit in real well. So, I, I mean, he feels like an offensive lineman, and he feels like he's been here for years. That's amazing. Jacoby, let's talk about what you learned as a freshman last year that can carry into this sophomore season for you. Um, my freshman year, I jumped, I played early as a freshman. I learned that it's a big boy ball now. You really got to come out there be tough put big boy pants on, I learned that. So this year carrying on, I'm really gonna come out, be more physical, compete more, and really just put on for the team, show everybody what I can do more this year. The chemistry this spring, tell me about it. A lot of new guys, a lot of transfers, a lot of the high school kids that are enrolling, enrolling early. Um, what's it like to have these new guys and, and how, how quickly are you guys able to all gel and kind of yeah. become one unit? Mm -hmm. Um, I think the biggest thing about that is I think the coach is doing really well of recruiting the guys that's like there are like good people. I think uh, it's good people first and great players second, you know what I mean, type thing. And they all come in and they're all really going to work hard. And they come in, they understand the Mountaineer way, you know what I mean, blue collar, um, hard work, integrity. Like they all come in and understand that. So they come in and not trying to mess up that type of like things we already established. Because we've been established it for years. Uh, we're trying to grow every single year. And I think these guys that came in, really understood that and really came in and with the whole team for sure. Do you think personally for each of you, you guys can each answer this personally and as the unit's offensive line secondary, have you guys gotten everything out of this spring that you wanted to personally and as 
units? Oh, yes. I feel like we have um, for the DBs. All the DBs, we really come together this year. Everybody listening to Coach Sadan, learning, just learning what he do. And his trip, um, traveling over to from indie peers to team peers during practice. Um, with us being like the oldest group with the most experience, um, I think the young guys are really just looking up to the guys that has played and has got some time on the field and really just understanding like you got uh, every day is just you got to work on something new. Um, coaches really talk to us about like instead of making the same mistakes, make a new mistake every single day. Um, so we got new things to fix on. Um, and so I really think that uh, our young guys are really looking up, at that, up to us and seeing the role models in us and really understanding that every day is a grind and you want to push yourself every single day to be better. How fun saying. will it be on Saturday to go through the motions as if it's a real, I mean, it is a real game, but yeah. it's the spring game, but just kind of getting into that mindset of like, hey, in a few months, we're going to be doing this for real. How exciting will that be Saturday? Uh, super exciting. I mean, it's just good to be out there and seeing some fans out there, see how hard we've been working this spring for sure. Yeah, I feel it's going to be fun. I can't wait to get out there in front of the fans, show them what we've been doing, and just put a good, good mini game in for them. And just have fun. I love the spring game because everybody's like rooting for each other, ribbing each other. Oh, yeah. So it's just, it's lighthearted, but it's football. And then it's on, yeah. on to the next in the fall. Gentlemen, thank you so much. And if you would like a personalized autographed helmet from either Brandon or Jacoby, all you have to do is go to our website, countryroadstrust.com slash autographs, and they will personalize it and we'll get it to you. Thank you so much for joining us on this edition of Climbing the Mountain. Don't forget, you can find Country Roads Trust all over social media, and you can find out more about our memberships to help support athletes like these gentlemen and everybody that's been our, on our podcast at countryroadstrust.com slash join. One more show, the wrap-up show next week after the spring game. We'll see you then. This Climbing the Mountain podcast is brought to you by Encova Insurance. Hard work and passion are critical components of any winning strategy. Count on Encova Insurance as your local team to provide peace of mind.